Well, hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the cabin on this uh, cool and frosty morning. Current temperature is about 25 degrees. That's just below zero for you Celsius folks. Uh, and everything's nice and frozen. Although I'm sure that's going to change uh, as it warms up in the day. Uh, everything will turn to mud again. And that's the time of year it is. Freeze, thaw, freeze, thaw. Personally, I'd like it to just just freeze up and stay that way. I think that'd be a lot better. But uh, yeah, anyways, I wanted to do a quick video. I'm about to head out of here um, for Thanksgiving. And uh, before I leave tomorrow, I just wanted to get a few uh, last minute things cleaned up. <laughs> Yeah, somebody's hungry. Hold on. Yeah, I wanted to get a few last minute things cleaned up here and uh, and uh, put stuff away and and uh, yeah, then take a little break. I'm looking forward to it. Nice little Thanksgiving break, and then I'll be back. So yeah, let's get some stuff uh, stuff cleaned up here. I see I got a little bit of damage here some uh, we had some really strong winds the other night so there's some uh, a lot of treetops are down and uh, I got to clean those up and uh, clean up my uh, well I want to cover my wood pile so maybe I'll do that first
I'll burn that sometime. I don't know. Once winter comes, get some snow on the ground. Have a nice fire. Now this is my uh, trusty 46 year old snowblower. And uh, one thing I want to remember to do before I go is uh, put another coat of oil on that chain. So I have some uh, Lucas chain lube. If you're wondering what the banging was, it was this. Every time I turned it, that would hit that wood. Now the next thing I've got to do is take care of some drainage problems. As you can see, I got a lot of leaves and they, uh, they plug up my culverts. Exciting? No. Um, but you know, in my videos, I, uh, I, I try to show that uh, what it's really like to be to be in a place like this sometimes. And uh, a lot of times, stuff like this, it has to be done all the time. Uh, or as I like to say, it ain't all beer and barbecue. But sometimes it is. I've actually got uh, quite a bit to do here. It's going to take me a few hours. I've got... Uh, you know, they're all they're all plugged all along the driveway. Nothing's coming out. All right, this is going to take a bit. I'll be back. All right, well that's done, and I'm glad. What a workout, man! Those leaves are heavy. Those wet leaves. Whew. Anyway, okay. One last thing to do uh, before we call it a day. Uh, I'm going to change. I'm going to put a new chain on the chainsaw. Now, uh, here's a pro tip. Don't ever trust your local parts guy, especially if they're young pups. <laughs> I find that they will hand you uh, the first thing they grab. They don't, they don't even, I don't even think they care, to be honest. Uh, if you don't know the exact part number that you need and you don't double check it before you leave, I don't know. I always find I end up half the time with the wrong thing. Um, so sorry if there's any parts guys watching and you know some of you guys are probably really good but i man i find a lot of them are bad and uh here's just another example so and this is my fault because i didn't double check now here's my chain here's the chain in question and you guys that are experienced are looking at that and you know exactly what the problem is already yep normally this is what i run i run oregon uh chains I think these are great chains. They work really well. I've never had a problem with these ever. Uh, these are really good. So I go to pick up a new chain, right? And uh, I gave him the part number. Oh, he says, we don't have that in stock. We're sold out. Okay. And he says, wait, but we have the Husqvarna equivalent. And I thought for a minute, I said, yeah, okay, well, sure. I need a chain. So uh, give me, give me the Husqvarna you know, equivalent, that's fine. They make a good chain too. So I'll take that. <laughs> I didn't think, and I didn't look at it closely enough and I didn't check. So uh, I just took it. I get back here to the cabin, put my new chain on, still didn't notice, uh, <laughs> fired up the chainsaw. Uh, as soon as the, I started cutting, as soon as I made that first cut, I, I, oh, I said, man, oh, come on. Anyways, Sure enough, oh yeah, <laughs> wrong part. Uh, as soon as and, and as soon as I stopped the chainsaw and I looked at it, I went, "Yep, yeah, yep." Yeah. Low kickback chain. I should have checked it closer. Uh, so, 
you guys that are experienced, when you first saw the chain, you probably picked up on that. And uh, for anybody that doesn't know what a low kickback chain is, basically it's just a, it's a consumer type of, of uh, model of, of, uh, of, of saw chain. It prevents the chainsaw from kicking back. It's good for people who aren't used to chainsaws and who, who don't have much experience. Uh, less likely chance you'll uh, cut, your, cut yourself badly. The problem is they got really poor performance. And you can tell as soon as you start cutting that, that it, it's, nah, they just don't cut very well. Uh, so my, my bad, I should have double checked. And uh, anyways, um, went back and uh, another time and picked up an Oregon chain. And I know this is the right one. And I know this is gonna cut real nice. Now there's two things that you should do every time you put a new chain on. First thing you should do is clean the inside of your bar. That's easy. I just take a rag. I take the tool that came with the saw. I use the, um, I use the screwdriver end. Just put it inside the rag. And then I just put it inside of the bar and go all the way down like that. And it removes any debris that's inside of the inside of the bar. Now the second thing you should do is get yourself a flat file, and uh, you should file down any burrs that are along the bars. So just doesn't take much. Just kind of rub this file along it. And one more thing to do too. Uh, flip your bar when you're uh, adding a new chain. So clean it, file off any burrs, and then flip it. So what do you guys got going on for uh, for Thanksgiving? What are you guys up to? Anybody uh, going anywhere? Is you doing anything? You just gonna hang out? What do, what do you guys got going on? All right, that's it. I think I've got everything, uh, everything done that I want to do for today. Before I leave, I don't think I'm forgetting anything, but I could be. Anyways, all right. Next stop, Turkey. Oh, that's good. Yeah, well, I got a lot done today. Little things that I wanted to get... Uh, get finished up before I leave. Um, this is Saturday and uh, I'm going to leave here tomorrow uh, for a little break and um, I just checked the weather and I see there's a mess of weather coming in. Uh, tomorrow night it looks like um, three to six inches of snow with a little bit of sleet on top of that. In other words another mess so I'm going to uh, I'm going to get out of here before that happens. So it's good to get everything done, all those little things. Uh, I don't see any uh, big snow or anything in the forecast, but you never know. It could happen any time. So uh, I guess since uh, Thanksgiving is coming up, I'm going to put a little turkey on the grill. I just got a piece of turkey breast. I'm going to throw that on.
All right, well, I'm going to end the video here. It's kind of cold out here. And uh, I'm going to get my turkey and uh, I'm going to eat that. And uh, But I just wanted to wish everyone a very happy uh, Thanksgiving holiday. Have a great time. Uh, don't forget to eat way too much. And because uh, <laughs> that's what it's all about. Uh, be thankful because uh, we do have a lot to be thankful for. And uh, yeah, I wish everybody the best. And if you're not celebrating Thanksgiving this weekend, um, have a great day uh, wherever you are and whatever you're doing. Anyways, guys, thanks for hanging out with me today. If you're new, subscribe. Hit the bell icon to be notified of new videos. Uh, hit the thumbs up. I appreciate the support. Leave me some comments below. I love those comments. I look forward to them. And uh, we'll see you guys soon back here at the cabin.